and it's their intrinsic nature. Yeah, it's like, food, basically. Rob. Sound. So here you have clearly white people with weapons, with guns. After watching the video you just seen with all those cops being shot at or shot and killed, when you see gun, you would think automatically they would respond with bullets. But they take the time and risk their lives to talk these people down or to shoot and wound them to get the gun away from them. They take the time to de-escalate the entire situation so that the life of this white person is not taken. But when it's a clear case of mental illness with a black person, or even when a black person has no weapon at all, he is shot and killed. So if it's all about the cops just being really cautious and worried about their lives and fearful, how come they're so willing to walk into the face of danger when it's a white person with a gun, but when they face a black person who is unarmed clearly, they shoot them dead. But they want you to believe that cops are so in fear of their lives. You know, they see phantom weapons and phantom guns just, you know, laying around whenever it's a black person. It's all of a sudden a weapon that is presented and they are in fear for their lives. But when they can clearly see a man with a gun or a man attacking them, trying to beat them and possibly take their gun, the, the situation is de-escalated when it's a white person. But when it's a black person, that black person almost 100 percent of the time ends up dead or seriously beaten. You have black men who just simply ran away from the cops, one, because they are scared they're going to be killed. Or because they're just criminals. Either way, he don't deserve to be beaten to the ground by six cops. It don't take five, six cops to hold down a homeless guy. But all of a sudden, the homeless guy supposed to went for the gun and, you know, they shot and killed him. If you can't wrestle a gun away from a homeless man and it's more than two of you, then you do not deserve to be a cop. You shouldn't be a cop. Plain and simple. You cannot do your job correctly. So this coon cop on here who's trying to basically divide and conquer, they're trying to take away or cause a situation to where white people have to make a choice. All the white people supporting the whole Black Lives Matter, they have to choose. So they got to use a black cop to do this because if a white cop say this stuff, you know, it's just a white cop being, you know, biased. But when a black coon cop comes on here and says this stuff, it makes white people say, well, wait a minute, it makes people look at it differently when it's clearly a setup they want to separate the white people that's marching and protesting and give them a choice either you're going to support the clean cut white cop who's trying to protect you from the bad black guy or you're going to march with these criminal black people who are killing white cops so when he sits there he says that well while y'all was marching and protesting 21 black people was killed how come y'all don't march with a black on black crime and this and that how come white people don't march for the white on white crime? The same reason why we don't march for the black on black crime. Yes, there is a lot. But when you look at the actual data that he says doesn't exist, you can see clearly that not only one, white people kill more white people than black people kill black people. This is from the FBI's own database from 2013 and 2014. You can see for yourself. So the number set. In 2013, you had 3,005 white victims, 3,005 dead white people. Now, out of the offenders, you had 2,509 white offenders. So that's 2,509 white people committed murders on these other white people. 409 black people killed white people. When you go to the black column, we had 2,491 murders, 2,491 black people killed, 189 of the offenders was white, 2,245 of the offenders was black. In 2014, those numbers went up, 3,021 murders of white people, 2,488 committed by white people. 446 committed by black people 
Numbers went down a little bit for black people. 2,451 black people killed. Went down for white people killing them, 187. And it went down for black people uh, committing these murders. Uh, black offenders, 2,205. Now, understand, it's, I'm not even going to go and just make this thing about race because this is something that's used to divide us. Plain and simple, people being, being killed. I don't care what color you is, is wrong. I don't care who kills who. If you kill somebody, the shit is wrong, period. Unless it's in self-defense, you're trying to defend yourself or your family. It's the only time it's going to matter to me when you have no choice. But to sit there and try to make it like black people, we just super violent. We just running around killing each other. And there's, there's no recourse and nothing is going on. is bogus. As I said in the last video I made, when you have poverty, crime is inescapable. Are these cops looking at the data and saying, well, what's going on? Why are so many people killing each other? Are they looking at all the drug addicted people who's addicted to drugs and seeing that most of these killings are are either uh, drug related, you know, has to do with some kind of money situation. There is nothing that the police are doing to de-escalate the situation in the black community because this is their bosses want it the way that it is. It's just that simple. You have so much murder in the white community that white people can't even. White people can't even believe that so many white people are killing white people because the news is not talking about it. Watch Dateline and you'll see how many white people kill white people because Dateline is full of those stories. But they can't fathom it and believe it because the news has not bombarded with all these murders. This is a divide and conquer tactic. Y'all got to pay attention and just look at what they're doing. They want to get the white people away from black people so they can do something to y'all. This whole Black Lives Matter march, first of all, as I said before, the whole slogan needs to be changed to Black Lives Also Matter or Black Lives Matter Also because people are confused. And sometimes you got you got to help slow people sometimes. If somebody want to act retarded, you got to sometimes you got to help them out. You got to accommodate them because they don't want to understand what the whole movement means. They get it for real for real, but they want to just be assholes and say, well, all lives matter. Yeah, of course, all lives matter. We're not saying that. And I'm not with the whole Black Lives Matter movement. If anybody thinks so, I'm not with that. I'm about, you know, de-escalating the entire situation. I'm about uniting everybody. I'm not about none of this, this crap that's going on. Some black people and some white people want it to be a race war. They want us to be out in the streets shooting each other and killing. And come on, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And one, it's not going to be good for any of us if it does happen. But it's particularly not going to be good for black people since we only make up 13 percent of the population and we are outgunned and outmatched. It's stupid. Y'all need to chill out with your ego. I'm upset, too. But people want to, you know, talk about, well, it's about pride and this and that. There is no pride in marching your people into a suicide mission and to a death trap that they setting for y'all. Everybody know they got all those coffins ready and everybody was talking about the FEMA trucks and people putting up videos about the tanks and all this stuff. Now, they trying to start something. And by y'all going out there marching and now every time y'all march, it's just shooting and cops being killed. Something is going to happen. This whole thing is a setup. As I said, it's no coincidence that you have this whole Jesse Williams speech and, you know, he gives the speech and everything about you know, Black Lives Matter and all this and that. Then right after that, right after July 4th, just like every in July, every fucking time in July, somebody being killed that's black, you have all these murders. You have these murders of black people. Then right after that, now cops all of a sudden being shot and killed. This whole thing is suspect. And that's the reason why a lot of black people don't march because we can see that it's suspect. And this whole thing is a setup. It's a trap. It's a trick. They want our guns and we know this. As I said in the last video, when I put it up there, it was going to be a lot of people that was going to jump in the comment section without watching the entire video and say a bunch of negative stuff and point out a bunch of stuff that don't matter. You know, that doesn't even help the overall situation or takes away from the overall message. Plain and simple. Divide and conquer. I know y'all don't want no kind of unity. Black people just some of y'all are so you know bitter about what's been going on. And I don't get me wrong. I understand that. I completely get it. Of course, I'm black and I understand. I get it. But I can be, I'm smart enough and I'm humble enough to look past that and look at the trap that's being set for us. Plain and simple. I can see I'm not trying to walk into no trap. I don't want y'all walking into no trap. This whole thing is a setup. It's clear as day that they're trying to divide and conquer. They're trying to get black people out there with guns, shooting at cops so they can wipe y'all out. 
Y'all people must don't understand. Y'all probably never seen warfare before. I was in the military. Y'all don't understand the kind of weaponry that the federal government has, the kind of weaponry that the military has, where they don't even have to put boots on the ground and they can take out an entire city. So all this tough tone you talk about going out and with guns and packing guns and this and that. I mean, if you go into a situation with a crowd of people and you have a firearm and something happens and it breaks out, and then the cops want to peg you as a shooter. They're going to take you out. we seen what happened with that other guy when he had his gun. The first thing he did was he gave his gun up. And they put him all over the news and said, hey, well, this guy is the shooter. He's a suspect and this and that. Come on. They were trying to pin the whole damn thing on this man. It's a good thing he was smart enough to hand over his weapon. Why even, why even put yourself in that situation? I mean, the marching. Don't get me wrong. I understand, you know, you march and you're trying to voice your opinion. You're trying to show that, you know, you disagree with what's going on. But we are marching for what? What is the point? What is it leading to? What is it for? Because if you're going to actually march, it has to be for something. Yeah, we know y'all saying it's for Black Lives Matter. It's for, you know, to stop cops from killing people. But what is what is going to be the result? You get up and you say, OK, let's go out. Let's march. What do y'all expect to happen after the march? If it's nothing, then you shouldn't march. You shouldn't block the streets. I mean, and y'all can get upset about that, but it's just common sense. Like, come on, march for something that's actually going to cause change. And that's the problem with y'all. Y'all don't want to sacrifice to get the change that we need. Y'all don't want to give up y'all Nikes and y'all don't want to give up going shopping and going downtown and shopping at these stores. If y'all want change, that's what y'all have to do. You have to affect the people who can cause the change. You're not affecting the rich marching, blocking the street. You're not affecting the politicians. I mean, if you want to march, at least go march in front of a councilman or Congress or Senate or something like that where they can see what's going on. It's, it's nothing going on that's going to actually change something. But just piss a bunch of people off and get a lot of people not to join the movement because what y'all doing or whoever directing is what y'all doing is really not helping. Now, everybody always asks for the solution. What's the solution? What should we do? Stay home. Don't do nothing. If y'all want real change, don't go to work tomorrow. And that's the issue because black people don't support other black people. We don't support movements. We go along to get along. And that's the thing. It's going to require sacrifice. It's just that simple. It's going to require you not shopping, not celebrating, not going to work, maybe possibly missing a meal or two if you don't have the money to really, you know, scrape something together before you do this. But if we are united, then nobody won't have to worry about that. I mean, would you can you imagine if there was nobody downtown shopping tomorrow, if it was nobody at work tomorrow? how much money these corporations and companies would lose. Any law we, will, we want passed would get passed. It's just that simple. But y'all not willing to make that sacrifice. Y'all want to keep paying these people to oppress you, then march about their oppression. It's stupid. It's an endless cycle. Why the hell are you complaining about cops shooting people, but you're paying their salaries to shoot you? Stop paying their salaries. Stop going to work. Stop paying taxes. And... I'm not saying this to try to, you know, piss people off or incite something, you know, you know, crazy or anything like that. But it's the only weapon we have. Picking up guns and trying to kill people and this and that is not. I mean, come on. You're going to end up dead and on the news because a bunch of sane black people and white people are not going to join you in that whole trip. Y'all want to go out in the blaze of glory with guns saying that you're a gangster and you fought for yours and all this and that. Go right ahead. You're going to be alone. And dead because you you can't match their weaponry. And that's a fact. Like, come on, common sense. I'm not going to lead my people to slaughter. Wake up. Y'all got too much militant in you and not enough sophistication, not enough education. You got to understand psychological warfare. They know you better than you know yourself because they made you you. Everything that you're doing, the way you act, as I said before, comes from a system that they created. Everything that they put out on TV and let you listen to, they gave to you. It's just that simple. They understand how you think. The reason why some of us say we are conscious or we broke out of the matrix is because we broke out of that whole, you know, mind control set. 
we got away from it and we understand their thinking so we can see their plan of attack and we can see what they do. And some of us choose to make videos and risk our own protection and safety. You know, you got people who disagree with little videos and they threaten you. And you know how many threats I get from people, you know, who just don't like the religious aspect of my videos or what I talk about. You know, I got to deal with that when I go out in the streets. I don't know who's going to see me. My face is plastered. Their face is not. So we take this risk and we try to put out the truth and we try to put out information and we get very little support. Very little. And for the people who do support, you know who you are. And I thank all of you, the ones who really do support, not the people who say they're going to do something and don't do it. Now, you might not agree with what I'm saying. Some of y'all still got, you know, hearts full of anger. and Y'all just want to fight. Y'all want rage and this and that. Take that anger out somewhere else. Do something with it. You know, constructive. Build something. I don't know. But going out and shooting cops and trying to start a riot and trying to get black people amped up to where they get guns and go fight. It's Come on. It's ridiculous. We got to stop this because I don't want to see a protest and a bunch of black people, you know, laying dead in the streets. They're looking for any reason to do it. So don't give them one. Don't give them one. They're looking for any reason to snatch our guns from us. Don't give them one. I am for any kind of gun control. Any kind. Whatever laws you want to pass to make it harder for people to get guns. I'm for all that. Plain and simple. They make it like we are saying that we don't want gun control. I don't want crazy people having guns. So do whatever you got to do to stop that from happening. I don't want racist people having guns. So do whatever you got to do to stop that from happening. I don't want cops who are racist being cops. So do whatever you got to do to stop that. When you have so many people stepping up saying, you know, talking about the issues they go through with cops. I mean, it's it's it's. It's the icing on the cake when it comes to us explaining everything that we explain that we go through as black people when we encounter the police. I mean, it's just the fear that we got to face. It's ridiculous and we shouldn't have to face it. Now, I just wanted to set the record straight on some of these matters. Like I said, you may not agree with me, but until we address the poverty issues in this country, until we address the mental illness in this country, I mean, if you live in California, you can't go anywhere. I mean, if you go to Hollywood, you can't walk around too many places and not see mental illness. There's a lot of mental illness here in Hollywood, here in California, and it's not being addressed. Until we address this, until we address the poverty, there will always be crime. Until we address the real drug issue, the real big dogs who are really bringing in the product, there will always be crime. It's just that simple. It's inescapable. It's no way, as Tupac said, it's no way people should be hitting Lotto for $20, 50000000 million and these people in the streets starving. We can give away billions of dollars in foreign aid, but we can't help Detroit? How the hell do we let an American city fall so fast, go bankrupt? Come on. It's, it's ridiculous, and that's the problem. We are so busy worried about black, white, and this and that cop shit. We're not addressing the real issues, the real people who really fucking us both. Black, white, all of us, Latino. If you live here, we being screwed. It's just that simple. We're not addressing the... We, we stopped talking about wages. What happened to that? We was mar marching about, you know, $15 an hour. What, what happened with that? That's gone. Did they fix that? No. It's people, poverty is the problem. It's just that simple. Poverty solves everything. Yes, we got racist people out there. For the most part, people now to keep their comments to themselves or they hide behind, you know, YouTube and, and cuss out black people. I get cussed out by a lot of racist white people on YouTube. You know, I got thick skin. It's no problem. But for the most part, we want the same thing. People want peace. They want to go home. They want to be safe. Black people, we got to be in fear every single day because we black. We don't know that, you know, when we go out, you know, if we sit sitting at the park or if we chilling with our friends, are we offending or, you know, are we putting fear in the hearts of these white people that's next to us? I mean, it's, it's ridiculous what we got to go through. So when this coon cop is on here trying to talk about the whole situation, he's forgetting that he's black and he's forgetting about what we go through as a people that white people do not have to go through. And that's just a fact. 
It's just a fact. I mean, and it's messed up that we got to deal with this, but nobody wants to address the fact that we have to deal with this. We got to deal with that. We got to deal with the poverty issue. We got to deal with crime. We got to deal with cops. Come on. Come on. It's only but so much a person can take. But black people, we got to act accordingly. We got to get our shit together. We got to support each other. We got to do the right thing. We got to build each other up. We got to stop killing each other. Those numbers is crazy. Even though it's less than white people, it still shouldn't be that high. It's ridiculous. But I understand how our minds have been screwed up by this system. And I understand what goes on in the black community. But I'm not condoning any killing of any person anywhere at any time. It's just wrong. It's just wrong. So um, I want to thank y'all for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll see you guys next video.